Right, some of you might have some issues with cutting EPP and not twisting. I'll um, tell you how I managed to resolve it in my printer. Um, the trick is to take a very cheap piece of uh, EPP foam, if you were, live where I do, and a really expensive bit of Depron foam which doesn't twist, and then you tack it onto the Depron foam. And all I do is I just take hot glue gun and I'll just give one, two, three little tacks on, it on the foam, and I'll do exactly the same. Move it over. See, I'm going to do exactly the same on this side. So, one, two, three. And if you want, you can go to skip one or two down the sides as well. I found that not necessary, but um, if you're a bit concerned, it helps. Remember, don't go and Smear the. Um, don't go and smear the thing we, you wanted to come free, and you want to, be able to reuse the sheet of Depron. So it's literally a tack. Once you've done that, you can let it dry and then uh, load it into the printer. Now you'll see I've loaded it into the printer. Um, it sits nicely there, and all the Depron's doing is giving it a solid sheet that it can't twist on. Hot glue is obviously tacking on, and with the pressure onto the rollers. Um, the EPP doesn't move as much on the foam. The other benefit is uh, I don't really need a table. I don't put a table in front. Um, the six small depth on access the table on my uh, printer. And it runs through all great. So let's start the cuts. Now, as you can see, um, it stops and started in the same same point, which is what I was having an issue with. If look down there, that's sort of pretty much in the middle, and same thing here. And the part that amazed me is that no, what I wasn't getting is that the, the inset lines weren't matching up exactly. So you're getting quite a bit of a gap between between the sort of a, a shadow cut that goes out, and that should intersect. And they are pretty much intersecting. You will see that there's maybe like half a mil difference sometimes. Um, and that, that purely comes down to the foam, I mean the EPP foam is squishy and there's not really much you can do about it. Um, so once that's cut, you're happy with it, all you need to do, if you've tacked it on lightly enough, is take your fingers and just literally just pry it gently off, oops, and it'll just come off gently like this. And the worst thing about this is that you'll end up with a little bit of um, hot glue on the end of your foam, which is like minor compared to actually throwing away a couple hundred dollars worth of EPP foam testing this. Um, there. And, oops, I think he's put too much glue there. Oops. And uh, there we go. One complete cut of our wing. And time to cut the next part. Well, not to mention is uh, as you can see, slowly but surely the dead prawn starts getting laid out. Um, so I mean after a couple of cuts you'll more than likely have to replace that sheet of dead prawn or another layer over it or something but uh, I think in the future what I'll look at doing is building a table with a bit of scrap foam in the bottom and I'll use it as a feed tray that runs in and out the printer um, and just basically lay out the EPP foam within that but uh, if you do this you should get pretty much 99.99% .99 accurate EPP cuts 